Hello. In this video I will do an example of a circle graph. To make a circle graph you're going to need a compass to make a circle and you're going to need a protractor to make angles of certain sizes. Here's our example. Make a circle graph for the following data. Class level of football players on the Hawkeyes. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior and we have the number of players. The first thing you need to do is calculate the total number of players. If we add this up, we get 90. So there are 90 players here. So I'll just make a note of that right here. Then we're going to need to make an additional two columns. The first column is the column for the fraction, and the last one is for the angle. So let's calculate the fractions. There are 25 freshmen out of 90 total players. So the fraction here is 25 ninetieths. For the sophomore class, we have 15 out of 90. And now let's go ahead and fill in our last couple of fractions, 30 ninetieths and 20 ninetieths. Now we're ready to use the fraction to find the angle. 25 ninetieths of the circle needs to be the angle for the freshman. There are 360 degrees in a circle, so I'm going to take 25 ninetieths times 360 degrees. And when I do that calculation, I get 100 degrees. For the sophomore class, I'm going to take 15 ninetieths times 360 degrees. And I've gone ahead and filled out all the angles. We have now 100 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees, and 80 degrees. It's a good check to add up those angles. Make sure that it adds up to 360 degrees because there are 360 degrees in a circle. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the circle graph. The first thing I'm going to need is a compass. Now I need to draw my circle. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, not too bad. And I also need to mark the center point. Once you have your circle and your center point, the next thing you need is an initial radius so you can make your first angle. That's my first radius. My first angle is 100 degrees, so I need to get my protractor. So I have my protractor here, and I need to get the center point of the protractor at the center point of the circle. I need to line up the zero with my radius and then I need to put a dot up here at 100 degrees. 100 degrees is an obtuse angle. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I'm going to put a mark right here. Then I'm going to get my ruler and make a line from the center point up through this point. I think I'll stop at the circle, but up to there. I have my ruler and now I can draw my line. Now I'm ready to put in my next angle with my protractor. My next angle is 60. So let's adjust the protractor. I've adjusted the protractor and I count around 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I put a mark right here and draw in my radius. Then you proceed with the other two angles. Then you simply need to label the regions. It might be also nice to put on the percents or the fractions here, but that won't be necessary. We'll be doing more with fractions in lowest terms and percents later in the course.